Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. In the last video, we built the first half of the Lego Friends Heart Lake Hospital, and now we've got to build the second half, and it is very exciting. There are so many details. If you missed the first half, the little eye in the corner will take you there, and the link will be in the description box below too. But don't forget to come back, because part two is even better than part one, and we're going to play with it when we're finished. We are up to bag number five, and this one is a completely new room. This one is for the baby, a room for the babies to be born in for the mums to recuperate after the babies have been born. This is the maternity ward, I suppose, or we could just call it the baby's room, but connected to it is a bathroom. And look at this, it is an all access bathroom and it's got some very informative stickers, posters there on the side, as well as the toilet paper, which we need. And it's got a handrail on the sticker too. That's to assist you from getting up and down off the toilet if you are in a wheelchair or if you're basically feeling as though you need some extra help. The toilet's now installed, there is a pull cord to flush it, and we're getting ready to put a sink in as well. This is very good. This is a big sink. Ah, I think I know why. We're going to find out in a moment though. So a bigger than normal sized sink for a reason. This little piece here has got a sticker on it with some nappies on it because this is the change table, the baby change table here in the bathroom. And this big sticker on here has got all the things that you need while you're changing your baby. You've got wet wipes, you've got the nappies, and you've got some toys too, some powder, everything you need. This is a wonderful bathroom. No wonder it's right next to the maternity ward and a scale at the front to weigh the baby. So there we go, scale. And if we look at that, that's why the sink's so big. It is doubling as a first baby bath here in the hospital. The change table, perfectly sized for the weeny weeny little Ola. That's very exciting. I don't think we should leave her there unsupervised on the change table though. So we're gonna bring Henry in and he can keep an eye on her and keep her entertained while we keep building in the next room. Ah, the first piece of decoration is the stork bringing the baby to the maternity ward. <laughs> That's such a cute picture. And a party invitations hanging here sideways on the wall. I'm not sure why. I'm a bit baffled about that. It makes nice decoration, but hmm. And we need a bed or a reclining sort of couch here over on the side for the mum. And this is very, very exciting. If we've got a bed for the mum, we also need a bed for the baby. And look at this. It's the very first Lego cradle, a little crib. Oh, it's not very safe yet. <laughs> we might need to put some sides on this. I'm pretty sure that's not regulation. So we'll put some sides on the crib. This is very sweet. There, baby Ola, now you're safe on that side. <laughs> now we need to put the other one up. And then you'll be okay in here. We can rock you gently to sleep. There. That's so very, very cute. Oh, all right, we're gonna put the crib. It just goes at the back here. It fits nice and snugly. And I think I might get uh, Dr. Patel just to check out baby Ola while we keep building. Next up, we're going to build a little bit of entertainment for baby Ola. It is the cutest little mobile to go over the crib. Oh, if I can actually get it on there. <laughs> we go. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Isn't that just the most colourful, lovely little baby's room? Now we've got a book. Is it going to be uh, all the things you need to know about looking after a baby? No, it's not. Let's see. That's got Ola's little footprint on it. And it's her baby book. Look, here's Ola's baby book. And it says the 10th of the 9th, 17. So Ola has not actually been officially born by the time this video was actually made. <laughs> this build was made. So we're preempting her birth. <laughs> and we need a little mat just to make it a bit more welcome and a bit more snug here in the baby's room. That is super duper cute. Now we'll put some windows in so we can keep the weather out, keep all the bugs out. 
And along the front, we're going to put another sticker here, a bit of a longer one with the blinds on it. And that's over the bathroom, so you can pull them down when you're using the bathroom. And now we just need all the long pieces and all the smooth and the jumper ones to go along the top. And then we're pretty much finished with this room, apart from some decorative flowers on the windowsill. Very important. Okay, we're ready for not quite the next room. This is going to be the roof of the baby's room. It's a helipad. Look at this. This is where, oh, right on top of the baby's room. This is where the emergency <laughs> helicopter is going to come to land. That is not going to be very peaceful for the sleeping babies, <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> we may have to play with the design. As I've said before, this whole set is modular. Oh, here's the baby's bottle. We might give the baby a little drink. There we are, and we put that up here. So it's all modular, so we can just shift around where we want these rooms, <laughs> where we want them to be. And I'm going to leave Olivia here in charge while we open up bag number six. We don't want to leave Ola unsupervised. Bag number six brings us a brand new room with the base plan, the design, exactly as we've seen for the other ones. So, all oh, until now though. So now we have got some shelves at the side of the room. That's very cute. They look so tidy there. And in the shelves we've got, ah, the medical bag. So that might be a paramedic bag. We can put that in the ambulance. A little green bottle of something, some form of medicine, and a couple of more bottles. And they go here on the shelves, precariously balanced. And to keep them all in on the shelves, we need a door. And I love the fact that it's glass, so you know there are things in there, and that keeps them so tidily all placed in there. That's so awesome. I love the design of this hospital. We need another blind now on this window, just to tie it in with all the other windows. Oh no, oh no. Where's the baby gone? I just knocked the baby over when I put that piece on. Oh, Olivia's found the baby all that can, can, can Dr. Patel check out baby all that while we keep building? I think the baby's okay. Baby looked okay <laughs> from a distance. <laughs> oh, we'll just keep on with the building then. Okay, now we've managed to fill out the outside. We've put all the windows in. Now we need to start equipping the inside of the room and the first little piece of furniture in here, or medical equipment, is the x-ray machine. How super duper cool is this? There's a little green light on the side, and here are some of the x-rays, what we're actually seeing. So, a foot x-ray, and a torso x-ray, the rib cage. There, and this... Oh look, yes, so we can swap this over. So Henry has broken his hand or his wrist, we could swap that over if we're busy x-raying Henry and then it would be the appropriate x-ray for the job. And we can swing it open, so let's try it out Henry if you want to hop in. There, and now we can scan him and we can see what's broken. So cool, so that's the x-ray room. We're not finished with it yet though, so <laughs> we get too excited. There's still more cool things to put in here, including a skeleton of the human body, or rather, a skeleton of the Lego body. <laughs> so the knee bone's connected to the hip bone, and the arm bone's connected to the other bone, and the head bone's connected to the pole. There we go, we've got a dingle dangle skeleton, which we're going to put up over here. <laughs> that looks so good. There, our little skeleton, so we can check out which bones have been broken on an actual model. And now in the corner, we have a little container to hold some scissors over here on the clip. And in here is, oh, so good. So another little plaster for the arm and a head bandage. So let's see if Dr. Patel would like to model these for us. So that's what they look like when she's fully equipped. I love the new arm bandage, the new arm cast. That's so cool. We've already seen the head bandage before in the minifigures. So we're going to install this over there. Wonderful. Now we just need to put some more flowers on the outside to match up all the rest of the outside of the building. 
but there are still some more things to go on the inside here and I think it's found in bag number seven. So let's open up bag seven and on the front here, we need a little examination chair. So we can put the patient in this, it needs a footrest too. And it swivels around. So we'll just get Henry to try it out. There! That's fantastic. So that's where Dr. Patel can get her patients to sit while she's busy bandaging them up. And we'll put that up here next to the baby's room. And this is looking really good. We've got another whole room to go. So, so far, same design as all the others. Now we need the first piece of furniture. Well, there's actually lots of equipment on here. So there's a sink and a little bottle of something. It might be dish soap for washing your hands. Well, sorry, hand wash, but it is yellow. And this is a microscope. Maybe it is a urine sample. <laughs> Maybe it might be a sample that they need to be checking out. <laughs> and Olivia has rushed in here. She's incredibly excited to see all of this science equipment. So this is the laboratory. Here is a picture of Dr. Patel with a very important science award there, big gold trophy. And here is her medical certificate up here on the window. And we'll just get Dr. Patel to look at that sample because I'm not certain that Olivia knows quite what she's looking at yet. She is still in training after all. And she's very excited. She's coming in to observe and a little, a little, oh, okay. So we've got a bottle of blood or a container of blood. And is this a little fridge for it? Cause there's a thermometer on it and there's an up for warm and down for cold. And on the top is a keyboard and okay. So a heartbeat monitor up here on the top. That's fantastic. So that goes over there. That's on a jumper so we can get that on and off easily too if we want to pull it out from the room and play with it. And next to our heartbeat monitor, <laughs> look, there are some little, little tiny, teeny, weeny nasties that they're inspecting with the magnifying glass. Not certain why you would use a magnifying glass when you've got a perfectly good microscope, but <laughs> they can check them out. Might be bacteria, might be some microbes. So if you would like to have a look at that, Olivia, we can, uh, we can keep on with the rest of the build. Oh, this is very cool. So up here in the laboratory, there is also in the lab, there is also a patient bed for the patients that need some extra care and attention, some massive lights, might be a surgery too. You could make it the surgery. So cool. We got lots and lots of downlight here. So you can see the patient very clearly. If I can get all of these <laughs> in the right angle. There, Henry. Now, Olivia's just going to look all over you with the, mic with the magnifying glass. Not sure that that's proper doctoring technique, but she does have she, she does have a syringe now, so she's just giving you an injection, which will make you all better because you're suffering from don't know itis, one of the worst, worst diseases known to mankind. But the syringe should fix you right up. And we also need on the end here an IV stand for your intravenous fluids. That's awesome. And do you know what? We could actually take this off here. We can put it on the gurney as well. That's so good. Look at that. So we can mix and match so many things here. There is so many play options. I'm very, very excited. So we finished the inside. Let's put the last blind here on the window and let's finish up the outside of the room so we can install it in the hospital. And of course, the ubiquitous flowers. We need it to tie in with all the other rooms. And we're we not quite finished. We need the hospital sign. We need the finishing touches. So 
We got the new Heart Lake Hospital emblem up here, the logo, and on this spinny bit, we are going to put a gigantic sticking plaster or a band-aid. What do you call them? We call them band-aids here in Australia, but I know that some countries call them sticking plasters. Let's put this all the way up here right next to the helipad and we're done. How fantastic does that look? I'm so excited. Look at the slidey doors. And here's the little emergency exit or entrance, sorry for the ambulance and downstairs we've got the foyer we've got all these different rooms we better put the baby in the crib <laughs> now that i've found her again this is just one of my favorite lego friends builds so far to date uh, oh, oh oh like i said there are lots of different ways that you can set this up and before we packed the ambulance with the gurney but we can also use this medivac stretcher we can use this to go into the ambulance as well if we want to they don't tend to use these flat stretchers really so much anymore. They tend to use the ones on wheels, but this one fits in quite nicely. And there's even a little jumper there that we can press that down onto so it won't move around if we're going to drive the, <laughs> the ambulance crazily around. So that's really good. There are lots of different ways we can utilize these, including putting him on the roof. I'm not certain that's standard procedure and putting Olivia in there on the gurney and then driving it away. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's not very safe. We're probably going to need some emergency care very, very soon. Yes, let's play with it. So here's Henry. He is on his bike without a helmet and doing ridiculous tricks. And of course he fell off and hurt himself. Oh, now he's even more hurt because uh, Olivia just ran the ambulance right into him. Okay, so where is she gone? Is the ambulance not good enough? No, you can't drive the ambulance anymore. She's gone to get the medivac. Excellent idea. Because <laughs> right. the ambulance is obviously not drivable anymore. We're going to get him to the hospital in the emergency helicopter. Are you going to actually pick him up? Yes, all right. Off we go then. So off they go to the Heart Lake Hospital. Is it this way? Mm, no. Is it, is, is it this way? Do you know where you're going, Olivia? Do you have any idea? Like, hopefully she's gone the right way now. Because <laughs> Dr. Patel's here waiting. Excellent. She's delivered him safely or precariously balanced up here on the helipad. And uh, she's now explaining to Dr. Patel just what happened with the bike and the ambulance and everything. <laughs> and they might need to check him over, I think. So off to the x-ray room and give him a good x-ray all over. Yes, and it is his arm that is broken and his head has taken a very good knock too. Uh, Olivia, he's all fixed up now though, so if you can bring in the wheelchair, we can send him off home because he, he's all fixed up. He's ready. He, look, look at him. He's smiling happily. <laughs> so see you, Henry. It's nice to... Uh, no, don't do wheelies in the wheelchair. That'll just bring you straight back to the hospital. Oh, that's the emergency phone. Quick, answer it, Olivia. All the paramedics are bringing in a little baby. This baby came with this set and with no mummy in the set. That's so sad. So we're going to admit her into the hospital and just check her over. Quick, we'll rush her up to Dr. Patel. Here we are. Dr. Patel, can you check over baby Ola? She doesn't seem to have a mummy in this set and we're going to have to look after her till we can locate her mother. So she looks okay, she looks fine, so we'll install her in the baby's room, but oh, she's so sad. She's crying. Maybe a bottle will help? No, she's still so incredibly sad. A change of nappy often helps. It might cheer little baby Ola up. No. Uh, okay, uh, maybe a little bit of a try out on the scales, so that's not always that much fun. It's quite cold on the scales. Oh, Olivia has an excellent idea. Um, actually, now that I've seen Olivia's idea, I'm not certain it is the most excellent of ideas. She is bringing some chocolate up from the vending machine and... Well, actually, that does seem to be settling baby Ola down. You don't give chocolate to newborn babies, but... Okay, we'll... <laughs> we might share the rest of the chocolate out between Dr. Patel and Olivia. And we'll leave Olivia here in charge of baby Ola while she sleeps. Sleeping babies are just so lovely. <laughs> and we will find her mum for another video very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed the build and our silly play. Please make sure you subscribe. 
Give me a thumbs up. I love to see those thumbs up. Make sure you write me a comment too. I love reading your comments. And I'm going to see you with a new video very, very soon.